Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm now going to be reviewing the draft for WWE for 2023. So let's go ahead and just check out the new roster for this year. Now before I do, go ahead and please give a subscribe and like this video and check out all my other videos if you can. Thank you very much. All right, and see, here's the new roster for Raw. Now, of course, Raw has to get more people because they are a three-hour show. So it's very exciting just to see, like, Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch, the Judgment Day, who they're going to now be facing in this new roster for Raw in 2023. I'm very excited just to see what Raw is going to bring to the table. You know, of course, they had the move with uh, Drew McIntyre, Imperium, you know, so there's going to be some exciting matches for for your for the judgment day for Seth Rollins, you know. Hopefully, you know, Drew, there's reports saying that he may leave, but hopefully he does stay because maybe there's gonna be a chance that he could get that new world heavyweight championship that they've been eyeing on. So let's just see what happens there. Of course, in the women's division, Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley, Zoe Starks, congratulations to her on getting called up. So she'll be excited just to be in the mix. Indy Hartwell. Now the way is all together. So that's very exciting just to see. Hopefully they do give a push for Johnny Gargano. Um, and uh, there's so many other, uh, other possibilities. There's a lot of women's tag team, which that's the first just to see. Uh, I can't wait for that. Um, so it's just very exciting just to see. All right, and now it's over to SmackDown. Now, of course, they had a smaller roster boost because, of course, it is a two-hour show. It's on Fox, so basic uh, network. But they did get some interesting um, changes in the SmackDown landscape, so it's very exciting just to see the new matchup that's going to happen there. With Roman Reigns, of course, being picked, now and the bloodline being there it's going to be interesting just to see any new matchup that they're going to have i mean of course there's um bobby lashley that would be exciting just to see um aj and the oc now that's going to be some fun little matchups with you know gallows and anderson and the usos you know um austin theory is there with the u.s title i mean solo sokoa wants to maybe have a singles title so let's not let's let's see about that L.A. Knight, I would like to see him face Roman. That will be a star-studded type of um, match for him, so that that way he can boost his stock. Of course, um, Bianca and Charlotte are together again in one brand, so we're going to have... That will probably be our WrestleMania match. Um, they still do have Asuka there, so of course Asuka probably could be in the mix. Io got... Uh, Io could probably be a breakout star. Um... And hopefully they start using, you know, Lacey Evans and Shotzi for something. Um, and there's some potential there. Now, there is a lot of trios in this um, division, which is very interesting just to see in regards about that. So, I mean, could you imagine if WWE decides to do a trios title? But I doubt that. But it's exciting just to see what's SmackDown going to bring um, for 2023. All right, and let's not forget about the free agents that was announced. Now, these are some interesting people, names that are in this uh, free agent type of limbo, but let's just see what they're going to do in the 2023. Of course, with the free agents, they did say that they can appear on both Raw and SmackDown. So um, Brock Lesnar, that's, of course, he wouldn't mind going to both Raw and SmackDown and Probably Fox and Universal is probably happy about that. So just to have Brock Lesnar. Um, interesting for Omos just to be a free agent. I mean, but maybe he's going to probably be wrestling different um, places like Raw and SmackDown. He's going with MVP, so that's exciting. Um, so we'll see what he'll do there. Um, Cedric and, um, and Shelton. I think they're going to end up on SmackDown because Bobby is there. So if Bobby ever faces Roman, he needs some backup. So the Hurt Business could get back together. Um, Elias, he'll probably be with Rick Boogs because they still have like a storyline there. So they'll probably play off with that and then he'll probably end up on SmackDown. Um, the ones that I'm interested in is Zion Quinn and Von Wagner. They come from NXT. So I don't know if maybe... They don't know which show they'll put them uh, put them on, 
So we'll see what show that they want to put them in. Um, uh, Baron Corman, of course, he's in a losing streak, so it's kind of making sense that they want to go ahead and do that for him. So we'll see you there. And uh, Mustafa Ali and Dolph Ziggler, I have a feeling that Dolph Ziggler is ready to retire, and then Mustafa Ali is ready to move on. So, I mean, there were reports about Dolph, uh, Mustafa Ali that he wants to leave, so maybe this is the chance where he's not renewing his contract and they're just letting him work in both shows. And maybe he'll change his mind. You never know. So we'll see about that. Dolph, I mean, he's a 20-year veteran. Maybe he's ready to hang up the boots. I mean, he's doing his comedy special. So like comedy, you know, tours and stuff like that. So maybe he's ready to do some comedy. So let's see what happens with these free agents and where they'll end up. Now, this is the new Raw roster, which will take effect on May the 8th. So can't wait just to see what this coming Raw is going to be planning on with the new roster that they have. So it's very exciting. Now, what matches did I not mention in this video? What matches do you like to see? Um, what, uh, Who are you happy for that got called up, who moved to Raw or SmackDown? What do you think about the free agents? Um, what are your thoughts about the women's division on both Raw and SmackDown? What are you thinking about the World Heavyweight Division and the Universal uh, Championship Division? Um, do you think they're going to introduce trios titles? Go ahead and leave some comments down below in my on this video. Thank you very much for taking your time for watching. Um, see you next time.